Yo, what's up YouTube? My name is Brian and in this tutorial we're going to be going over how Cole Bennett does these cartoon-like animations, specifically in this little Tekka out of luck music video. As you can see at the beginning it has these little signs that come up, these cartoon arms, and then it goes into this truck, door, windows, all these little cartoon elements that he adds in to real footage. If he keeps on playing we can see that there's a blimp here with another sign. All very simple to do and I'm going to be going over that, but the effect we're specifically going to be going over today is this drawing over the body effect. As you can see here, he draws Tekka in this blue and yellow tone here. Just kind of like hand-drawn style. It looks pretty cool. Also, before we get started, I created a pack of like cartoon elements very similar in style to this. So if you want your videos kind of looking like Cole Bennett's with these little animations, the pack will be in the description and it'll be 50% off for the first 48 hours. So if you want, go ahead and cop those. I'll show you a few of them here. Just little animations that are very similar in style to his. Got some cars, Hummer, palm trees, speakers, flower, just all different types of stuff. But yeah, so now into Premiere so I can show you guys how to do this effect. So I just chose a part in his music video where he didn't do the effect and we can just add it on. Preferably, you want to do something where the, the subject is standing pretty still so there's not much movement. So the one frame of animation can stay on him the whole time. So if you see here, this is the clip that I want to animate. Just him sitting down, standing still. And we're going to do that same effect. This is where we're going to end up with is where it draws up. As you can see, it's very similar to the effect that Cole Bennett does. He normally uses it as like a transition. So if you go to the last frame before you go to your next clip, what you're going to want to do is click this little camera button. It says export frame. And if you don't see that, just go ahead and down here where that plus is and then navigate to where you see the camera and then click OK. I normally save it as a PNG. JPEG works just the same and just name it something that you can remember what it's called. Okay, so after that, what I did is I just went to animate. You can do this in Photoshop or probably even Illustrator if you really wanted to. I just thought animate's probably the easiest one to do it in. If you have the Adobe Suite, you can just choose whatever one you like. Animate's just the old Flash if you didn't know, by the way. So what I did is I just did a 1920 by 1080 and clicked Create. And then navigate to where you had the still and drag that in. So the first thing you do is just label this background so you don't actually accidentally draw on it and then create a new layer. And this is going to be called outline. And it's very, very important that you stay on the right layers when you're actually drawing because otherwise it's going to get really confused and then some of the colors are going to go over the outline or you're not going to be able to really tweak it the way you want. So to get that kind of pen kind of style that he does, I think it's just one of the default brushes in here. So if you go to the paintbrush tool and then click the brush library. Second, it's popping up over here. Okay, so if you click brush library and then go to artistic ink and then calligraphy two, and double click on that. As you can see, you kind of have that effect already and then you can bump up the size a little bit. For me, I think like right around like five kind of looks good for the outline. So as you can see here, you can hold control and then scroll in on your scroll wheel to make it kind of zoom in and then kind of just give it your own style. You can draw, you know, make it look a little, a little rough. You don't have to outline them perfectly, but if you can try to stay on the outside of his skin rather than on the inside. So like right here, when we add the effect, you'll actually be able to see that. So if you were to like go over here, then you wouldn't be able to because the blue will be overlaying it. So I'm just gonna do just this little part of his arm because I already actually did this still. So let's just pretend like his arm stops there. So then what you're gonna wanna do is create a new layer and label that blue or whatever color you wanna do and then drag it underneath outline. And then since it's kind of a rough style and the edges aren't closed out, you can't use the paintbrush tool unless you close them out. So what I did is I just went to this brush tool and then chose a color that I like. Here, we can get the exact blue real quick. Okay, so now that we have this color, what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna wanna go around the outline of here. You can control the size of the brush when you're selected on the brush by using the left and right bracket keys, or you can just come over here and actually choose the size. But I just found it's easier to control it with the keyboard. So what you're gonna wanna do is just go around here Try to stay in the lines as best as possible, but since it's kind of the, the look we're going for anyways, it doesn't really matter much if you go outside. 
So just going real fast. So what I normally do is I do the outline of everything first. As you can see, it's a really rough job. And then bump up the size of the brush. And then it makes it a lot easier just to go through and highlight all of this. And then there, as you can see, it's very similar effect. One thing he also does is he kind of adds like these, these lines just to give it a little bit more depth. So like right there, here we can bump down the size. Just do these detail lines or whatever. He has something like here, maybe, you know, just give him a little bit of shape to his arm. So it looks more like an arm and less like just like cartoon. So basically that's gonna be the way you do almost everything here. Besides the hair, the hair is one thing that took me a little bit to figure out, but what I did is I just bumped up the size and then just did these lines here and then kind of drew them coming down. It's gonna be a little rough because it's fast. Then do that and then go to your brush tool and then fill that in. And once you fill that in, it'll look something more similar to what the hair is supposed to look like. Now, obviously, this is a really rough job because of the sake of the tutorial, but this is what I ended up with. I'll pull it up real quick. So this is the still that I ended up with. If you take your time, it can take quite a while, but it does look really good and very, very similar to the effect that we want. Going back into Premiere, what you're going to want to do is just import the PNG file. So if you want, you go File, make sure to turn off the background layer once you're done, File, export, export image, then an image will come up, click PNG, and then just save it to whatever, wherever you want. And then once you save it, import it into Premiere, and then I just duplicated it. And as you can see in the video, there's this little like black outline around it when it's going up, so it doesn't look like it's just coming right from the blue. So that's why I duplicated it. And then I thought Lumetri color was probably the easiest. I drug that on the bottom layer, then going to curves. Let me disable the top layer so you can see this better. Going to the top layer and then just dragging that all the way down so it takes away all the light. So now it's just a completely black layer. Then what you're going to want to do is let me re enable the top layer, go to crop, and then drag that onto the top and onto the bottom layer, and then click on the top. And depending on which way you want it to come in, is where you want a keyframe. So if you want it to come in this way, you can use top, left, right, whatever way you guys want. So I'm gonna go ahead and go top. So keyframe it at zero or 100% and then drag it all the way to the beginning and then make another keyframe and make that zero and then drag that all the way to the end. So as you can see here, it comes up. And then what we're gonna wanna do is go to the bottom layer and then for the bottom layer, what you're gonna to wanna to do is create a keyframe where it's like, instead of 100% cropped, it should be like 95, so it has a little bit of black. And then make a keyframe there, and then go all the way to the end, and then keyframe it at zero. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna have this little black line going all the way up. So it kinda of has the same effect. And then if you don't like how thick that is or whatever, you can always go in and tweak it and make sure you're selected on the bottom layer. And then, Drag that to something like 97. Then that way it's a little bit less thick when it's going up. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the effect. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I created a pack of elements that are very similar in style. So if you want, go ahead and get those. Those will be linked in the description below. Like I said, 50% off for the first 48 hours. So hurry up and get those. And I was thinking about doing a whole breakdown for the video of Out of Luck. So if you guys would enjoy that, comment down below or whatever because there's a bunch of different effects that are going through here maybe a different way to animate the cartoons but yeah that's pretty much it for the video so peace